So those are your longhorns? Yeah, we've got a herd of uh, about 63 head of longhorns now. They're all registered longhorns. And we breed them and, and uh, sell them in the register sales of private tree. Wow, there is some hosses over there. Well, there's nothing more Texas than a beautiful brown and white longhorn. That's exactly right. It makes for a good backdrop while you're shooting. <laughs> I, be I bet you the guys get a kick out of going over there and seeing all those, uh, oh my gosh, that one's a monster. My name's Cameron Dixon, and I'm from Bernie, Texas. And I pretty much look out, look after everything out here throughout the year take care of the cows, make sure everything's planted right, and we've got everything situated for once the season starts. Come on, come on, come on. I'm here just to make sure that we have as many birds as possible and we can get our hunters a good, give them a good time. We can do single day hunts, corporate groups, any, pretty much anybody and everybody that wants to have a dove hunt, we can do it. We do pin raised quail and pheasants. We've got 320 acres, and we've got, out of that, probably 150 is planted in sunflowers. And then we've also got a place in the south zone where we've got 50 acres of sunflowers down there. We're covered up in birds down there as well. Jim. Awesome! Man, that one, that one about fell in my pocket. Here we go, here we go, guys. Nice shooting. Nice shooting. Wow, that's a long shot with a 410, buddy. <laughs> that is a great shot. Thank you. Look at that. Look at this. Oh my gosh, look at that. And then you go in. Deep breast the dove and stick one fillet of that meat in there and put some cream cheese on top of it. Ooh, and then uh it's hungry. And then put a strip of bacon over the top of it and bake it in the oven. Can you show me with these? <laughs> You're gonna write this down, write this down. I don't know where you're from, but if you're not from Texas, you ought to be here. It doesn't get any better. <laughs> That's a good Hector used spin. all his shooting skills this morning when he took my 20 bucks. Yes, I did. Rad, this place is unbelievable. Thanks so much for having us out. Well, thank you for coming, Jim. We've had a great season, and, and we've been talking about you coming down and seeing the place now for a year or so, so I'm glad you made it down. Wow, we are sure glad we did. Well, tell me the history. You haven't been here that long, and the facilities are amazing. Well, thank you. We, we inherited a great farm. Uh, I was able to purchase this farm two years ago and uh, put my wife to work and, and, <laughs> and Ashley's really the one that gets all the credit for how the place looks. Uh, Brent Conger and, and uh, Cameron Dixon have done a great job out here. And, uh, they're out here all day, every day dealing with the customers and, and making sure that the place is uh, uh, ready to go. Well, the facilities are great. You've got the general store, and I, did I hear that was an old dairy barn? That's exactly right. When we bought the place, that was a dairy barn and uh, we've been able to convert it into an open general store where, where hunters can check in and, and have a little uh, store there with, with uh, some Paloma Pachanga swag that, that uh, has been very popular with the hunting crowd. And we can host about 35 people in there in an air-conditioned setting. Then we also have the Pachanga Pavilion that we built from scratch and it will host about uh, 200 folks or so. So you've, you've been doing a lot of corporate events. You're about 30 days into the season here and uh, you've already had a couple thousand hunters. Out. We've had a couple thousand hunters it's this amazing. year. amazing. And, and the birds have been just uh, phenomenal this year. And as you can see this morning, there's, there's plenty of birds still. There is, I mean, we're, we're, we're getting pretty long in the season and still, I mean, wave after wave after wave, thousands of birds coming in. 
You know what's so great about that is is they they've uh, historically in this Hondo area they've hung around till the end of the season, but then they're back again in the winter season. And so our best hunts actually last season were our winter hunts. No kidding. And, you're, and you guys are doing some uh, limited quail hunting we're doing out some, your Milo fields. We're doing some release quail hunting and and uh, done some uh, release pheasant hunting as well. And we've stocked the pond. Uh, behind us here full of uh, bass so our hunters can get some fishing in too. So you're getting a lot of uh, families out here? You know it's been a family affair it's, it, for, for me personally it's, that's, that's the thing that I've been able to enjoy the most about it. I have a six-year-old daughter Cecilia and a, a, a five-month-old son and it, he hadn't contributed a whole lot yet <laughs> but, uh, but Cecilia and, and Ashley have been out here uh, with us every time I've been really. Wow that's great and we heard in the field she's already your daughter's already picking up birds and passing out drinks. That's exactly right. We put her to work. She picks up <laughs> shells, she picks up birds, she passes out refreshments to the hunters, and she's had a great time with it. And I guess the new addition is the casitas. I got to sit, stay in one last night. They're beautiful. You can see that uh, your, your wife uh, has, has gone overboard and, <laughs> for a hunting camp and, and decorating those. Yeah, she's done a great job with it. I, one of the things that we're most proud of here, we're able to go in and, and keep the structures that were in place but modify them and get them to a point to where uh, to a level that, that we hope uh, will exceed all of our uh, customers expectations. I mean the facilities are beautiful and we talked to some of the other hunters that uh, have been here the last few days I mean some of these guys are limiting out in 20-30 minutes I mean the waves of birds we saw were spectacular you've got uh, three fields right uh, sunflowers right. Milo sunflowers. That's exactly right and we set it up where where we have a, a, what we call our west field, our middle field, and our east field. Uh, each field is roughly 100 acres in total of, of both uh, uh, sunflower area and what we call our shooting areas. Um, and they've been uh, milo and uh, coastal areas. And so you can, I mean, put out 200 hunters here. I mean, we, we've seen it. I mean, there's 30, 40 guys out in the field today and you never even ran into anybody. Yeah, that's right. As a matter of fact, the uh, when we get some more hunters and some density, it actually keeps the birds moving a little better. Well, the weather has cooperated. We've had a uh, little overcast. The birds have been flying. You know, for a, a September day, you know, to be sitting here in the 70s, we can't ask for anything more than that. It's been pretty anybody nice. That does what I do anybody that Hondo does what I do understands that Hondo, Texas, if you want to dove hunt, is, is the place to do it in the United States. And from what I saw out here, you know, no more. 14 hours sitting in a plane for, <laughs> well, for this right. guy heading down to Argentina. <laughs> We've seen, I've seen as many birds down <laughs> well, here as I've seen back in Argentina. <laughs> well, this, is, uh, this has been great. Congratulations, folks. You've got to come down here. If you want to go on a world-class dove hunt in a world-class facility, come down here to Hondo, Texas. Go to www.dovehunthondo.com. You will not be disappointed. Thank you. Thanks so much, buddy. This has been wonderful.